What's up, everybody? This is the Digital World Podcast. And, man, I feel like recently I've been showing a lot of clips that uh, really point out the the situation, the reality, right? And it does a lot more to um, portray everything that I want to say. So, what we're going to do here is keep on, you know, playing these clips because it gives you insight towards what's happening. And one thing I want to make clear in this episode is that we are not going to the old normal. If you're subscribed to this channel, you already know that. But if you're new and you're listening in, I want you to know that we're not returning to the old normal, the pre-pandemic world. And that's a fact, Jack. So, without further ado, let me do less talking and more showing. I created the community of Global Shapers as a means, as a force to shape our common future. This engagement of the young generation it never has been more important than now where we have to face the consequences of the pandemic of COVID-19 for creating a more resilient, a more sustainable and a more inclusive world. You are calling for the international community to safeguard vaccine equity to respond to COVID-19 and prevent future health crisis. Nobody will be safe if not everybody is vaccinated. Young people, you are rallying behind the global wealth tax to manage the alarming surge in wealth inequality. You are calling for programs that help you and young progressive voices join government and become policymakers. To limit global warming, you are demanding to halt to coal, oil, and gas exploration. You are asking firms to replace any corporate board directors who is unwilling to transition to cleaner energy sources. You are championing an open internet and a two trillion digital access plan to bring the world online and prevent internet shutdown. And you are presenting new ways to minimize the spread of misinformation and you want to combat dangerous extremist views in the internet. On stakeholder capitalism will be the key. For us to simply go back to some kind of normal. But to be honest, normal was the problem. And today we have a very rare and narrow opportunity for us to build back better and leave that old norm behind. Let me be very, very clear. Nothing is off the table. Any and every idea at this stage is worth considering. Huh. So, I want to highlight three points of that talk. First was the medicines that you need them in order for this to go away, right? Inject yourself with their medicine. Two, the climate crisis. Let's get rid of all of our dependency on these uh quote unquote dirty energy uh, resources and go to clean energy which will put us back as if we're living in the 1800s because there's no way we can use clean energy quote unquote and still keep using all the energy that we do it's just not going to happen thirdly he was talking about uh, that okay that people, politicians, that don't want to go along with this agenda can be voted out and other people can be voted in. I just, I, I'm i left at all thinking about what this man is saying. And he is literally influencing the minds of many people and these 
global leaders you see now have been influenced by these same thoughts. These ideas have been permeating through society. And now we have the results that we have. And it makes you wonder if these officials are selected or elected. There's a difference. Are they handpicked by the powers that be? Or are they actually being elected by the people through a true democracy? And I'm sure I know a lot of what you guys think. And it's definitely it definitely seems like these people aren't elected. Now, it's a very interesting thought. Now, there's another video I want to show you, and you need to watch this. So, this is the guy who just interviewed with Joe Rogan. This young generation, like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, half of this government, are uh, actually young noble leaders of the world. If we penetrate the cabinets, the change is not just happening. The change can be shaped by us. We have to prepare for a more angry world. How to prepare? Take the necessary action to create a fairer world. I see the need for a great reset. So people assume we are just going back to the good old world which we had and everything will be normal again. This is, uh, let's say, fiction. It will not happen. There is only one way this pandemic is going to go. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. The next crisis is already waiting for us around the corner. And it is the climate crisis. The young generation. So he just tells you what's coming next. We're going to have a climate emergency and these lockdowns are were set in place to get you people used to what's going to happen. You think people are hard to deal with now with how they've been brainwashed? Just wait till this climate crisis comes around the corner. I don't know when it's going to start, but I always thought this year was a pivotal year heading into next year. Folks, get ready. Get ready is all I have to say. So without further ado, I hope you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Keep sharing this information to other people. Thank you for watching. This is the Digital World Podcast, and I'll see you in the next episode.